الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا ما يهدي الله فلا مضل له وما يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد يقول الله تعالى في القران العظيم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم انما المؤمنون اخوه صدق الله العظيم all praises are for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we glorify him we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessings upon us we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us the opportunity to be present today for salatul jumu'ah we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for our health for the guidance that he has bestowed upon us we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for protecting us and keeping us safe i testify that there is none to be worshiped but allah he is alone and he has no partner and i testify that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is his servant and final messenger ibadallah my dear brothers and my dear sisters allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in al quran innama al mu'minuna ikhwa verily the believers they are one single brotherhood we are brothers unto one another and so we have responsibilities unto each other regardless of the circumstances the period the time that we are existing in people constantly they need to be reminded they need to be ad- given advice and so each one of us we have that responsibility whether is giving advice to our own families our extended uh, family in terms of our relatives our neighbors people in general that we are all given this task of looking at the actions of people and if we can help them to make a difference in their lives that we do that sincerely they are adab or adequate in terms of how we give advice but, but today i just want to remind you and remind myself that giving advice making sure that people know what should be done and what should not be done it, it's something that it, it's it's a, our responsibility because especially for the believers unto one another allah is telling us we are brothers unto one another we constitute one brethren and so prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he tells us that whatever we like for ourselves that we must like it for others 
He says, "La yu'minu ahadukum hatta yuhibba li akhihi ma yuhibbu li nafsi." None of you is a true believer until and unless you love for your brother that which you love for yourself. And here is where advice comes in. There are certain things that we love for ourselves. And so we need to advise one another to do likewise to show that, yes, we are people of faith. We, we want you to do what we are doing. For example, you know, you, you come for Salatul Jumu'ah. We are living in a time of uh, a, a pandemic. But if we look at Muslims generally throughout this pandemic, we would see that this was, this was something that we were afraid of, that people would become complacent and think that life must continue the way it is. So some people are accustomed to, you know, over the last year and a half to listen to khutbah virtually. And so they will continue to listen to the khutbah virtually and pray salat to Zohar. But you have made effort to be here because you know that it is important. You love it for your brothers and sisters and so you give them advice. And that's just an example, but there are so many other things that people are just relaxed. And, and they need to be reminded. Allah says, فَذَكِّرْ in, in dhikra تَنْفَعُ mu'minin." Verily, remembrance, remind. For verily, remembrance, it benefit the believers. And it's in the form of advice. If we were to look back at history, we would see that prophets, before Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, they they also told the people that that we are here as advisors to you. We came to give advice to you. Prophet Nuh alaihi salam, he he said to his people. وَأَنْصَحُ لَكُمْ I give good counsel unto you. I give good counsel unto you. Prophet Hud alayhi salam he said وَأَنَا لَكُمْ نَاسِحٌ amin And I am a true advisor. I am a true advisor unto you. So this is not something new. The, the prophets, they came and they give advice to people. Wanting people to be on the right path. To make sure that uh, they are not sacrificing their akhirah for this dunya that they're not giving up their hereafter because of the vanities, because of the luxuries of this life. That they maintain their connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Jarir, Ibn Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him. He, he said that he, this is what he pledged to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ba'ayatu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala iqam as-salat wa ita'i zakat 
ونص ونص لكل مسلم. He said, I took oath of allegiance with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to establish prayers and to give charity. And finally, he said, and to be the well-wisher of every Muslim. Well-wisher? That I want the best for them. I want the best for every Muslim. And so, I need to share my experiences. I need to advise. I need to make sure that what I wish for myself, that I wish it for them. What I love for myself, I love it for every Muslim. And so if I see them on the right path, I encourage them to remain on that path. If I see them on the wrong path, I strive to make sure that I guide, you know, give some advice so that they may come back to the right path. That, that's the, 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 nus, the nus or the advice that you are giving advice to people. And he's saying, this companion, I took an you know, oath of allegiance that this is what I will do, establish prayer, give charity. We all strive to establish prayers. We all strive in some way. It's, sometimes it's easy. You have, you give. But how often do we strive to make sure that we make a difference in the lives of people by giving advice to them. You see someone needing your help, needing for you to talk to him or her. How often do we do that? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Ad-Deenun Nasiha. He was talking to his companions and he said, Ad-Deenun Nasiha. The basis of faith is sincerity. That there must be that ikhlas in, in, in whatever you are going to do. If you are giving advice, there must be sincerity in the way you give the advice. That you are not looking to show off but you are looking to be of assistance to those whom you are giving the advice to. And we, sometimes we have a tendency, you know, this, this, is, a, this is a public uh, gathering. And so, whatever I am saying, it's general. But there are times when we give advice and that we, we want to talk to an individual, we make it public, uh, in, in a way of embarrassing the person. And, and so the best way to give advice, it shows that sincerity is to do it in secret, silently. Pull the person aside. Talk to him or her alone so that it, it, the, the person does not feel embarrassed based on what you are saying to him or her. So Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Ad-deen al-nasihat. The basis of faith, it is sincerity. The companions, they said, we submitted. We, we, we have submitted. Qulna, ya Rasulallah, liman, for whom? Whom should this, you know, sincerity in terms of advice be for? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Lillah, wa li kitabihi, wa li rasulihi, wa li a'immatil muslimin, wa amatihim. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, the sincerity, it is, regards, it is with regards to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with regards to his book, the glorious Quran, with regards to his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and with regards to the Muslims, leaders 
as well as the masses. So when it comes to giving advice, it is not limited that we, we look at where people have deficiencies in, and we try to make sure that we give advice so that they work on those deficiencies in, 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 in becoming better individuals. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says in Al-Qur'an, وَلْتَكُمْ مِنْكُمْ أُمَّةِ يَدْعُونَ إِلَى الْخَيْرِ وَيَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ Let there come out of you a group of people who will invite the good. That group of people will enjoin right and they will forbid evil. And that group of people, if they are the ones who invite the good, enjoin right and forbid evil, they, they are considered the ones who would be successful. It's all about advice. Reminding people that your fitra is the fitra of goodness. The natural way is the, is, it's all about goodness. Kullu mauludin yulad ala fitra. Every one of us is born with that inclination towards goodness. So you want to continue to advise people to gravitate towards that which is good. Allah loves those who do good. Invite people to do good. Invite people to enjoy right, to forbid evil. Allah says, Ula'ika humul muflihun. These are the ones, or those are the ones who would be successful. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, Allah reminds us again in the Quran, Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linas. تأمرون بالمعروف وتنهون عن المنكر وتؤمنون بالله. You are the best of people and evolve for mankind. What is it that you do? You enjoin right and you forbid evil, and you sincerely believe in Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Whatever you are doing. You are doing based on your faith, your strong faith in your Creator, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, just don't do good. Just don't enjoy, you know, be doing the right and staying away from the wrong. And you're seeing others who are not doing it and you're not trying to help them in some way to enjoy right and to forbid wrong. We, we are living in a time, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, where people constantly, they need reminders. Where people constantly, they need to be given advice. This, this is the action, or, you know, actions of Muslims. At, at Nikah, you give advice to the husband to be and the wife to be. You remind people of their responsibilities as husbands and wives. 
you constantly are being told in the Quran about uh, parents, their responsibilities, about children, their responsibilities. It, it is not only for us to read and to take it as part of our actions only, but it is for us to pass it on to others to make sure that we encourage people give, by giving them advice to be good sons and daughters, to be good mothers and fathers. We, we, we live in a world in which we, we see so much difference in people's lives when it comes to their responsibilities, when it comes to being a father, being a mother, being a husband, being a, a, a wife, being a son, a daughter, and being the best at it. Because people live by different standards. People do not live by, you know, a standard set by the Supreme, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that this is right and this is wrong. And sometimes it, it comes to affect even the believers, those who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those who have faith. Sometimes the faith becomes weak and they tend to do what they see other people doing. And that is why advice, it is needed constantly, that we constantly give advice to people. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, in, in terms of making the environment a better environment and reminding people he says man ra'a minkum munkaran fal yughayyirhu bi yadihi fa in lam yastati' fa bi lisanihi fa in lam yastati' fa bi qalbihi wa dhalika adha'f al iman he who sees a wrong from wrong among you let him change it with his hand. And if he is unable to do so, let him change it with his tongue, speak against it. And if he is unable to do so, let him hate it with his heart. And that is the weakest of faith. So the Prophet ﷺ is advising us that the environment in which you live in you want it to be the best environment. So always look at what is happening in your environment. And if people need to be advised so as to make the environment a better environment, give them that advice. That, that's basically what we are being told by our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because if, if, we, if we leave the environment to say everybody does as he or she wishes to do, everyone just live your life. Everyone will live life accord, based on his or her standard. Everyone will interpret good and evil based on his or her understanding. And we will have chaos corruption in society. So that is why it is the responsibility of each and every one of us to make sure that we continuously remind people, advise people, so that 
we make them better individuals and we make the environment in which we exist a better environment, an environment that becomes a God-fearing environment, an environment in which people are attached to their Creator, being obedient to Allah and to His Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, as I said earlier, yes, there are ways in which we do give advice. And we need to be careful that when we give advice, that people don't see us doing the opposite to what advice we have given to them. You know, you can't say that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know, recommends that we be loving and that there should be kindness in our speech, in our actions. And the next thing, when someone sees you outside, you are screaming at the top of your voice or you are yelling at someone or you are behaving in a manner that is not the same as the advice that you have given. You can't say to a man, you know, or a little boy, for example, eat with your right hand, and the next time he sees you outside, he's seeing you eating with your left hand. You, you just can't, you know, rebuke people for things when you or we ourselves do the opposite of it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran, أَتَأْمُرُونَ النَّاسَ بِالْبِرِّ وَتَنْسَوْنَ أَنفُسَكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ تَتْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ أَفَلَا تَأْقِلُونَ Do you enjoin right conduct on the people? You give them advice to do the right thing when you yourselves are not practicing it. Allah says, أَفَلَا تَأْقِلُونَ Don't you have sense? people will look at what you have been doing. And there are times when parents would tell their children advice. Smoking is, is not healthy for you. Don't smoke. You see your, your, your 10 year old, 11 year old, or 13 years old, and you're telling the child because you don't want him or her to be smoking. Cigarette. I'm not talking about the heavy drugs, the drugs yet because that, that, that's something else, but cigarette, you know, don't smoke. And the child is seeing you smoking every day. How is it not healthy for him and it's healthy for you? You know, there are times when parents sit at home, someone calls, tell him I'm not at home because you don't want to answer the phone. Make some other excuse. But don't tell the child to lie. That's not good advice. You, you, you're telling the child not to lie and then you end up having the child lying for you. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the Quran, you enjoin good conduct on people when you yourselves do not practice it. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with this aql? This, uh, you, you know, the, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to you. Have you gone mad? Are you crazy? This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the Quran. You are sensible people. I, I have made that distinction between you and the animals. You are better than them. So use what Allah has given unto you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, again he says in the Quran, 
يا أيها الذين آمنوا لما تقولون ما لا تفعلون كبر مقتا عند الله أن تقولوا ما لا تفعلون Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, all you who believe, he's talking to the believers, and yes, believers do this. Allah is addressing the believers and he's saying, all you who believe, why do you say that which you do not do? Who is it, whom Allah is talking to? He's talking to the believers. You people, why are you saying that which you do not do? It is indeed a grievous sin for you to say that which you do not do. So yes, believers fall into this trap also. Sometimes faith weakens and we enjoin right conduct and we ourselves do not practice it. So we need to be very careful. The Prophet Shu'aib May Allah, we, we, may Allah be pleased with him, Prophet Shu'aib alayhi salam. He said, Allah is saying this in the Quran, وَمَا أُرِيدُ أَنْ أُخَالِفَكُمْ إِلَى مَا أَنْهَاكُمْ عَنْهُمْ Shu'aib alayhi salam, he said to his people, I do not desire to do behind your backs which I ask you not to do. I have no desire. The thing that I have asked you to do, when you are not seeing me, I don't want to be caught doing that. And so, whether we are in public, or whether we are in private, we need to be careful. Whatever advice we give, we need to live up to it, or strive as much as possible to live up to it. Because here, Shu'aib alayhi salam, he is saying that even though I am not in your presence, whatever I say for you to do, I don't want to be caught in such a way that I am doing it. I'm doing the opposite of that, even though I'm not in your presence. And so it doesn't matter the circumstances. When you give advice, make sure that you are striving to follow the same type of advice. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to be better individuals and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to constantly remind one another of our responsibilities so that we may enjoy goodness in this life and we may have the goodness of the life hereafter and that we may be saved from the torment of the hellfire ولسائر المؤمنات من كل ذنب فاستغفرون إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحابه أجمعين رضوان الله عليهم إلى يوم الدين أما بعد My dear brothers and my dear sisters We are Muslims We are people who submit our lives to the commands of Allah and to the traditions of his Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We take advice from our beloved Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is the role model. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا Verily, in the Prophet of Allah is a perfect example for you. Constantly, he was 
giving advice to his companions. Constantly, he was reminding them about their responsibilities unto Allah, their Creator, and unto the creation. Constantly, he was reminding them how they can be better individuals. This was the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Allah says about him in the Quran, وَمَا يَنْتِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَى إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوهَا And he said nothing of his own accord except that it was revelation that came to him from the Supreme, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said to us, بَلِّغُوا عَنِّي وَلَوْ آيًا Spread. What you heard from me, even though it is one ayah, one verse, it may make a difference in the life of an individual. It may make a difference in the lives of multitudes. Because it, whatever the Prophet ﷺ said, it was all about making people better worshippers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, making them people who will do everything to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so, whatever you know, whatever you have heard about what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, pass it on to others in the form of advice. This is how you need to live your life. You're saying it to someone. Brother, you need to pray. Sister, you need to dress properly. Let's show modesty. Let's be kind. Let's speak softly. Let's engage people. Whatever it is, give advice, but give it in such a way that it is done with sincerity. It's not done so that you may uh, let people know that you are better than them, or you are looking to embarrass people, but you give it in such a way that you make a difference in the lives of the individuals. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and have mercy upon us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from the trials of the grave and the trials of the hellfire. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that when we return to Him, that He protect us on that day when there will be no shade, that He covers us with His shade, that day when there will be no shade except the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَقَدْ أَمَرْنَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى فِي الْقُرْآنِ الْعَظِيمِ حَيْثُ قَالْ إِنَّ اللَّهُ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وأرضى اللهم من خلفائه الأربع أبي بكر وأمر وأثمان وعليم ونستة الباقين المبشرين بالجنة ونسائر الصحابة ونتابعين ومن تبعهم بالسان لا يوم الدين اللهم عز إسلام والمسلمين اللهم نور قلوبنا بالنور الإيمان وثبت قلوبنا على الدين الإسلام ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي ذكم لكم تذكرون فاشكر الله على نعمه واذكروه على آلائه ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تسنون قم الصلاه